everyone, this is Melissa Arma with the Stocks Wish. I'm doing this video today for Omar. Omar was asking me how in the world do you have time to figure out what to do or rate the gaps so quickly. <laughs> I said, well, actually, I don't do it that quickly. I take my time because I see the gap before the open. So first, I wait for the gap to happen. a and had earnings. You have no idea if it's going to gap up, if it's going to gap down. You don't have to do anything. You wait. Here is the chart. This is the gap. This happened. See this? 7.30 a.m. So at 7.30 in the morning, ANF started selling off. So it then, at that moment, was gapping down. So then you see the gap at 7.30. So you've got two hours before the open to rate it. Okay, so you don't do anything until after it gaps. Then you rate it, and I rate it before the open. Then after that, if it rates 20 points or more, I trade it on the open and not before. So today's, go over, what is today, the 18th? Yeah. This is all the pre-market. You're rating the gap here and it's moving. So you're rating it in this area between 1530 and 1480-ish. I mean, you have to, Look at it. If the stock's live, it's moving in the morning. Okay. So it was a good short. So I shorted it here. Boom. Rallied up again. You actually could have taken more. Boom. And that was it. Done. So you see here how this was done at 10 o'clock for the majority of the move. Now, where was the low of this? 14.19. I said $14 was a dream target on this today. It actually got within 19 cents of that, but I didn't. I didn't hold this all the way down here. But actually, you could have. You would have been in it till one o'clock. I did not hold it down there though. Why? Because I like to trade the morning and be done. And this is all that I need. This is all that anyone needs to make a living. This is a nice move in here. Boom. You don't need to hold stuff all day. Do you see how you would have suffered back through a rally? It did keep going. It never went through the price. You were never down if you took it. But why sit there all day to make an extra 20, 30 cents? I mean, to me, it just makes sense to get the train, be up right away, get out, you know? I mean, you could have taken it off here. I didn't, I held through this and got the drop, but you know, you very well could have, you know, just done this so many different ways, but it was a nice short. So just to go over, since we're Omar, you wait to the stock gaps, then it gaps, then you see it, then you rate it. And then I take off the pre-market, post-market information, and I trade in the live day, and here's what it looks like. You just have to put the pre and post-market jiggy on your platform, okay? Nice one here. It's actually, this could keep going down to 14 before the post, but again, why trade on a Friday afternoon at 2.30 in the afternoon when you're ready up and you made money? I mean, you know, your goal's in, you take it, you know? So for more information, if you'd like more information like Omar, or if you have questions, email me at melissaatthestockswoosh.com. Have a fantastic weekend, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon.